I worked the F-22 investigation and we did not have a laboratory to do this type of work. I had to rely on uh, contractor facilities that had uh, limited capabilities and limited availability. Here, we can do very comprehensive testing. Uh, we can simulate the actual aircraft sortie that the, that the aircraft was flying. We can simulate those conditions here to test the system. We didn't have that previously. Uh, so we have much more capability. In fact, the equipment that you see here, the investment that the Air Force put into this equipment, I mean, this is, this is nowhere else in the world, really. I mean, we have the, the best uh, lab for testing this specific technology and putting it through its paces in an environment that was like an aircraft environment. Uh, that hasn't been done before. When these systems were tested previously, it was always static type conditions, one altitude, uh, one pressure. But we're going to be varying the pressure in the system because that's what happens on an aircraft. There's very dynamic conditions that occur. But what we have here is the simulation of the cockpit of the jet. Um, we have, instead of a, a human breathing, we have a computer-controlled breathing machine. We have the oxygen mask, helmet. Um, this is actually a F-35 air crew regulator. And it's being provided with OBOG's gas. And then it delivers that gas to the pilot. This tank goes to the altitudes that represent the cabin of the aircraft when it's flying, OK? And the computer, our mission simulation computer, is actually controlling the altitude in this compartment. This tank goes to aircraft altitude. This is an F-35 OBOGS right there. Sorry you can't see it. Um, but we deliver that OBOGS uh, compressed air which simulates uh, on the F-35 the environmental control system of the aircraft. Pressurized air is delivered to the OBOGS. This unit, uh, OBOGS, happens to sit in the front wheel well of an F-35. So it sits up there. It's in an unpressurized compartment. So that's why we have it in the tank that represents aircraft altitude. So, so this tank is actually flying at aircraft altitude, whereas the other tank flies at, 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 at pressurized cabin altitude. I believe next week we will start the testing. And per the test plan that I've put together, I'm thinking it's going to probably require about four months 